formerly El Hijo del Fantasma. Now he is Santos Escobar. The leader of Legado del Fantasma, Escobar is a highly dangerous human being. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, after months of mysterious abductions and attacks in the NXT parking lot, nobody suspected El Hijo del Fantasma. El Hijo del Fantasma couldn't do that. Santos Escobar did it. Elite Lucha skill, but proved that he's a mastermind too. Raul Mendoza, Joaquin Wilde reaching new heights under Escobar. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. And you know, all powered with bad intentions. The Bruiser weight. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. The Bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. It's all about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. Look at the eyes of Pete Dunne, staring daggers straight into his opponent tonight. Dunne's grim appearance is something I think most of us have gotten used to seeing, but it's hard to imagine standing across the ring from someone who seems to be in a perpetual state of intensity like Pete Dunne is. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition, one win at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. A tactic we've seen Pete Dunne use to disable his opponents time and time again is brutal joint manipulation. Corey, if you have to lock up with Dunn, how do you limit the effectiveness of these attacks? Look, Dunn's goal is to get you in close so he can start tying your fingers into pretzels. You've got to hold him at striking distance and try to make this a stand-up fight. Then it's just a question of finding your moment to strike and making sure he can't grab you in a counterattack. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Now he's been put on the defensive. I think we're gonna see it. Bloody cross. And Santos is showcasing his unique Lucha Libre arsenal. And this is how you beat Pete Dunne. Find your moment to attack and exploit it. Really just laying it in. And setting him up oh, to the man. face. That's gonna hurt. Escobar headed top rope. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. To the sky, and nobody's there. Done applying a hammer lock. What's next? Oh, oh my God, what an arm breaker. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Okay, this is just a little bit dirty. It's very effective, though. Yeah. 
capitalizes on Dunn's mistake. Boom! Big boot! Nice. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that can dislocate something. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Boom! He's going for it all. Launching! You gotta be kidding me! And that was a collision you don't wanna be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Dunn's in trouble. The Bruiserweight needs to find a way back in this. Hoist it up. Samoa Driver. Nice. And Pete Dunn's in trouble. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Back in under the ropes. Looking to take flight here. Blast off. Frog splash nailed it. Pete Dunn is getting dismantled. Pete might be done if you can't recover. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. Amazing awareness by Dunn. Set up. Yeah, Pete Dunn lifting him up. Boom! Sit out power bomb. Defense! Defense! Going for the X Plex! He could pin his opponent right here! It's over! Shoulder shoots up before two. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. He's one step ahead there. And another counter. Series of reversals. Escobar able to dodge that. German suplex! Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Unbelievable athleticism. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Into the turnbuckle. Oh my gosh, what impact! Escobar showing no fear up there. Watch out! Got the knees up just in time. We've arrived, it's about time. The bitter end. Oof. Dunn might have it. Two! Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. No telling how much surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. What is left in Dunn's arsenal to end this? The Bruiserweight has already fought with everything he's got. Oh, a knee to the face. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. Get up high. Wow, cross body. Great awareness from Dunn. Hoist it up. Oh, my goodness, Samoa Driver. Exclamation delivered by Escobar. What a kick out. Pete Dunne's toughness is on display tonight. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. Into the front slam. slam. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Listen to this place, it's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Look at him, pride and poise personified. A uh, reversal catches Santos. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Good night. An utterly relentless attack from Escobar. Blend of that Lucha Libre style and power, keeping Escobar on top. The Dude Buster for the win. There's two. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. An important victory for him in this match. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne always has more than one plan, but in the end, none of them worked tonight.